Hello everyone, welcome back to the Self-Defense on Street Court Boxing Science channel. And today we are going to talk about the cross. The cross, it's uh, different, uh, different of the, the, other, the other strikes, the jab and the direct punch, because it's, uh, uh, you, you do the strike side. It's a lateral one, so it's the side, the side. And we are going to start with the people that use the right hand. Mostly. Position, so the basics, as you saw in the, in the last videos. Knees down, okay. Box the guard. And the cross, you will do like this. Like this, to uh, with your arm and the rotation, your shoulder, rather, and your foot, right? There are some mistakes in, in the, execution, the execution of the cross, like this. If you are in the guard and you do this, you are making a mistake. Why you are making a mistake? Because you are opening your guard and you're gonna receive a strike in front, jab or third punch. That's a mistake. And why why you do the rotation? Because if if you all, if you only if you only do this, it's not a strong shot because you are using only your chest muscle your biceps muscle only that. If you are rotating, you are using the strength of your body. Right? So we're gonna do the cross again. Okay. Like this. And for the people use more the left hand. This. Always the arm. Okay? Shoulder, as you can see, the arm, and always rotating. Your foot, your shoulder, your foot, your body, always rotating. Okay? So this is very important. And I can tell you that Mike Tyson is a reference of the cross because. He won a lot of matches with his perfect cross. Why a perfect cross? Because, of course, Mike Tyson is a master of boxing. He's a master of boxing, of course. And he can use uh, his body with, with full strength to ex execute the cross. And he's gonna come back to the rings. He is now 53 years old, but he's in great shape and he, he has strained. So I think it's gonna be very interesting uh, the fight that he will have. Uh, he worked recently in wrestling, in the All Elite Wrestling. And uh, he's in great shape. As, as, as you can can watch, you can watch uh, the videos. Uh, and he's in great shape. It's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting. Uh, this uh, the, the next fight of the miners. And an important detail to do the perfect cross. You walk. I can give you an example. If you're going to if you are going to push to push uh, someone, if you are still and you do this, it's not a very strong push. But if you walk in front, you push. That's with more strength. It's the same thing with the cross. You're gonna walk, rotate, and strike. 
okay? So, right handed first, position is down, we go, right? So, so you're gonna walk, rotate, shot, strike, okay? Now, first, left, left handed, so he's down, he's down the guard, okay? And so you walk, rotate, walk, rotate, and then you strike with full strength. Yeah, with full strength. That's the, the, the difference between the normal cross and the perfect cross. Okay, it's a detail, but it's very effective because you're gonna strike with full strength. And that's the goal. The goal, that's why Mike Tyson won a lot of matches with some details like this, like, like this one. So, it's very import, important, the position. Position, rotation, and walk if you're gonna, if you want to do the perfect cross, okay? How you can train this? If you are uh, in front of a mirror, you can see yourself and how you are uh, practice, practice the, move, the movement, the move, and with you can train, do as many times as you can to uh, remember, to remember the details of the, of the, the cross. And if you want to do the perfect cross, you can train. Uh, walk, rotate, walk, rotation, walk, rotation. And then you, you have uh, your body with the memory to uh, strike the cross. Okay? So, conclusion. The cross for right-handed, normal cross and the perfect cross now for the left handed cross normal and now the perfect cross okay so we're gonna see what will happen with the next fight of Mike Tyson which will be very interesting I can ask you uh, your opinion about what you think will happen in the next fight of Mike Tyson and leave your comments make your questions subscribe the channel and share the video see you next time